A few months ago, I felt like a piece of fiber was moving up and down in my throat. So I went to see a doctor. The doctor looked into my throat and saw that nothing wrong there. So I had endoscopy done. They put a small camera into my throat and down to my stomach to see what's wrong there. It turned out that I had stomach inflammation caused by H. pylori bacteria. The medical term is pangastritis. After that, the doctor prescribed me triple antibiotics and proton pump inhibitor. It's a six weeks worth of medicine. The side effects of the drugs were horrible. I thought I was going to die. I lost three kilograms during the treatment. I had a follow-up test and now I'm free from H. pylori. As you can imagine, the stomach acid is strong enough to dissolve a piece of meat. So, average bacteria cannot survive in the stomach. But this H. pylori is so nasty that it can neutralize the stomach acid, chew up the stomach lining, and live in the stomach for a long time. Now you see why we need three kinds of antibiotics to fight this bacteria. One third of the world population are infected by H. pylori. 80% of stomach ulcers are caused by this bacteria. So, if you suffer from stomach ulcers, it's worth to have a test. Particularly, some studies found that H. pylori can cause stomach cancer. There are a few ways to test for this bacterial infection. For example, blood test, breast test, and stool test. The disadvantage of blood test is that it can only tell you that you have been exposed to H. pylori, but it cannot tell you whether or not the bacteria is alive and active in your system. Breast test is the best. They make you drink this medicine and 20 minutes after that, they ask you to breathe in and breathe out in this special bag. If you have H. pylori in your stomach, it will break down this medicine and create the smell. So if the smell can be detected, you have H. pylori in your gut. That concluded my H. pylori fighting video. Remember, your health is your wealth.